you will know Troubled heart you know Every life has reason For I made it so Oh, you know Oh, lonely Hey family, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you Welcome to the Mental House with me Your host Khadija This story that I'm about to bring right now I had uh, reservations about bringing it because Most of y'all know I got a whole lot of brothers but I also had a baby sister who uh, is not here anymore. And she left here in 1996, December 26, 1996. And um, that model, Christy, what is it, Christy Giles, I think that was her name. Her story reminded me uh, so much of my sister that... Um, I just had to say something. And so for any of y'all out there that got somebody in your family that's uh, struggling with addiction, that, um, you know, is just out of control, you know, people taking advantage of her or, you know, him, um, don't continue to see what you can do to encourage them to get the help that they need. Um, and if they continue to resist, sometimes... You have to let life run its course, and which is some, sometimes the hardest thing to do when you love somebody. And uh, that's what I think with my sister. I remember the times where I would go into uh, places with her and she'd go out the back door and I'd still be sitting there. Because I wanted her to be free of drugs more than she wanted to be free. I know the bondage that I was in, and I know that. I felt that if I could beat the demons, um, she would be able to, too, you know, but it just didn't work out that way. And this story kind of reminds me of that. And I'm sure without, you know, going there, somebody needs to hear this story. They got somebody in their family that's probably dealing with the same thing. Um, and uh, you want to stop it before you, it gets to this level right here. This is an exclusive. There's an L.A. model. Uh, and uh, they got a video that shows a 24-year-old dancing and laughing with her designer friend who is now in a coma at a party before she was drugged and her lifeless body dumped outside hospital by men in Bala uh, Clevis. Now... It is so sad when you out here partying with people, you know, and so a lot of y'all saw that real life, real stories, crackhead is going wild and things of that nature. Y'all thought it was a joke, but there are people you getting high with them and they're on such a deep level that you will fall down in front of them and they will continue to get high or be like, you know, step over you and go get they next hit. So this right here is sick because she was drugged and her lifeless body was dumped outside a hospital by men. That's what happened to my sister. She was dumped outside of the hospital and the weather here ain't nothing like it is in LA. So her body temperature had dropped down um and uh, what you call it, hypothermia, it set in. But the Daily Mail, they obtained a, a video, and it shows Christy Giles um, partying with her friends Hilda, Marcella, and just hours before she was found dead. The 24-year-old lifeless body was dumped outside a L.A. hospital. Saturday night while the other women was left in a different hospital and is now in a coma. 
I'm telling you, these people ain't got no heart for you. They do not give a damn. They do not give a damn. That's why I said if it's for nothing else, if y'all think this is your crew, they ain't. They will watch you die and step over your ass. They will take the pipe out your hand and smoke it. That's how bad it is. So if any of y'all ain't never suffered from addiction, ain't never seen nobody suffer from addiction, it, especially uh, cocaine or, or, or um, uh, uh, heroin and those type of things, strong narcotic, trip. And, and the destructive disease, toxic people that it brings with it and the behavior. Her husband, uh, Jan Sillers, was visiting his father in San Francisco when his wife went out in downtown L.A. with Crables Arzola and another friend. Giles and uh, Crabels, Crabellis, uh, left the party and went back to an apartment in West L.A. with some men that they had met that night. Cabrales Arizola was found with heroin in her system, which Sillers claims neither woman would take willingly, so he suspects foul play. So, you know, oh my God. This model whose body was dumped at a Los Angeles hospital Saturday night was last seen at a warehouse party earlier in uh, the video and pictures exclusively obtained by the Daily Mail. That's who this article is from. Uh, was uh, by uh, Josh Boswell and Adrian, Adriana Diaz and uh, Ronnie Reyes for the Daily Mail. This is insane. Her lifeless body was allegedly left by men in Balaclavis driving a Prius with no place in, at Southern California Hospital in Culver City at about 5 p.m. on November 14th. They just left her ass. They dumped her off and kept going. Surveillance footage recorded the men dumping the body of Hilda Marcella Carbellis um, 26 outside Kaiser Permanent Hospital in West LA two hours later. She remains on life support with no brain activity and with little possibility of recovery. Photographs and videos taken late the night before shows Giles 24 dancing and laughing at a warehouse party in East L.A. with her friends. It will be the last time that she is seen alive. This guy says, My wife and her two girlfriends went out to an East Side L.A. party. They were hanging out and dancing, having a good time. They were going to go to an after party in the Hollywood Hills. No, no, no. Trust me, no, no, no. Marcella took a liking to one of the guys. They all left together to go to this party in the Hollywood Hills, but they didn't end up going to the party at all. They ended up at these guys' house, and they left East L.A. at about 4.45 a.m. Uh, Sillers told Daily Mail that he fears his wife was sexually abused by an underground uh, pornographer who he suspects could have injected her with heroin and filmed her. He has identified uh, the men who Giles and Cabrillas Arizona were last seen with before their bodies were ho hor horrifically discarded to police. Sillers told Daily Mail these people, it's the worst of the worst, like one of the guys in the underground porn scene and associates with people known to attend snuff parties. Like I said, you know, there's all kinds of predators out here. There's all kinds of predators out here. And you just got to make sure you're not to pray. It said this guy was seen with a large camera equipment at a warehouse party. Seller said these men, not the kind of people Giles and Cabrellas Arzola would 
ever normally hang out with. Not sure how they convinced the girls to get into the car. And you'll never know. You'll never know. Uh, Giles and Carbellis went out for a very normal night with a third friend who's wish, who wishes to remain anonymous. And after hopping from Soho House to a warehouse party downtown, the third friend left the two women around 4 a.m. When I left the girls, they were completely coherent and fine. That's what the friend said. Giles and Cabrellas stayed at the party for about another 45 minutes. Surveillance footage of the party shows the women leaving with several men whose sillers described as the dirtiest and the sleaziest of the guys. One of the men, Siller said, is an underground porn scene is of the on underground porn scene and associates with people known to attend snuff parties. And snuff parties are just what self-explanatory. That night, the man was seen carrying large camera equipment around the party. Well, this is a very sad um, situation. And uh, my heart goes out to their family and loved ones. And I hope you find the men that dumped them off like trash. Um, dumped them off like trash. And uh, continue their night. I hope they're found. I hope they picked up. Because... Uh, these were human beings. And women, you, you have to do a better job of protecting ourselves. It's just that simple. With that being said, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, share. And I'll see you in the next video.